Hello, this is Sally from Launch Code, and today we're going to continue working on our application called HelloASP.net. And we're going to learn a little bit more about attribute routing and how we can use attributes to dry our code. Dry stands for don't repeat yourself. And we have Hello Controller here. It is working. We've added a form. We've used query strings and path variables, and we've done a lot of things here but we are definitely repeating ourselves in this controller. So the first thing we're going to talk about is class level attributes. So far, the attributes we've been using in attribute routing, we've only used them for each individual method. We haven't used an attribute that applies to the whole class. So let's get started with that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add an attribute for this whole class, and we're just going to put it right above the class and the one I want to use here is route. Every route that we've added using attributes starts with slash hello world. So I know that that will be a good class level attribute because every method that I have in this controller, I want to respond to a route that starts with slash hello world. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add this route attribute slash hello world. And that means that I can do a number of things. Number one, I can take this route attribute off index. It's now redundant. We don't want it to respond at slash hello world slash hello world. We want it to just respond to slash hello world. And I can take it off of here as well. And that's just taking it off the welcome method. I'm going to save and run my application and let's see how that works. All right, so we're up and running. And if I just navigate to slash hello world, I should see the form from index. And then I'm just going to fill it out using Tilly. Hit greet me. Welcome to my app, Tilly. And that is how we use the route attribute at a class level so that every route that each action method within hello controller responds to will start with slash hello world. Now, the other thing we want to do here is we want to look at that welcome method. So I'm going to stop my application. And before when we worked with our form, we just commented out these attributes, HTTP get and that old route attribute we used for query strings and path variables. It is very possible for the welcome method to respond to both a post request at slash hello world and get requests at slash hello world slash welcome. So we're going to make that happen. I can just leave HTTP post that attribute on line 30 where it is. It is perfect, but I'm going to add above it. So we need the route that we set up earlier a couple of videos ago, and we need to specify an HTTP get request here. So we are going to use the HTTP get attribute. And the great things about these HTTP verb attributes is you can include that route information in the attribute itself. You don't need that extra route attribute if you really don't want to use it. So here I'm just going to parentheses slash welcome. And then I'm going to go ahead and give it that name with the curly braces and the question mark. I'm going to save my file, run the application, and let's see how this worked out. All right, so first I'm just going to quickly double check my form. I know it's working, but it's always good to just double check the different routes you've been working with and make sure they're still working. So welcome to my app, Tilly. And now I want to double check slash hello world slash welcome. Welcome to my app world. Wonderful. And then let's see a query string here. Name equals Tilly. Welcome to my app Tilly. And then the final thing we want to check is that path variable. So if I take all of this out and navigate to this new route, welcome to my app Tilly. All right, so it works. That is helloasp.net. You've built the full application. 
Congratulations, and we will see you in future videos.